Welcome to the first corner of my room. So I'm here to talk about this little cute decorative just tiny sanctuary corner that I have in my room. This is one of my favorite corner. I have all favorite corners in my room. This corner is basically just one big setup to look at my vein So I had a corner similar to this at my old apartment with the same bean bag. I had my be happy sign near it. I had my plaque near it. But now so I can actually put stuff in the walls without getting charged my entire security fee. I decided to put it up on the wall and just create this really tiny but very cozy corner. I have my vines over here to add some greenery in the room. Right when you walk into the first thing you see is your beautiful self. I have my mirror right here that I'm eventually going to mount, but right now I'm looking for a different mirror because this one actually bent while I got it because we left it in the hot car when I bought it and it just really messed with the mirror. So now it's a little bit bent up, but that's okay because I think I'm either going to put it on the wall or just get a new one. That's we'll see in future videos, but that's where it's at right now. Probably will be for a couple weeks. Actually, fun fact, this is actually one of Cashew's favorite corners. He loves to nap in this chair. He recently just found a newfound love for napping and laying in this chair. I don't know if it's because of the plush I have in here or the Christmas blanket that I still have in here even though January is almost done. Hold on. Hold on. He just loves it over here and I usually find him sitting in this chair when I'm in the shower or on his bed which you guys will see close up in a little bit. But with that being said, let's go ahead and move on to the next corner, shall we? corner is a doozy because it's in a very awkward place so if the lighting is switching up don't worry about it I know the sun's behind me but now we move on to my closet corner so behind me to my left I actually have my closet I'm not gonna show it in there but it is a walk-in closet I have a bunch of space my dressers in there I have a shoe rack in there I'm not gonna show it uh, right now because it's a hot ass mess and out here I have this very 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 soft stackable lamp on here I just have things such as my Himalayan salt lamp some fake succulents my favorite vinyls at the bottom and I just have some things to make it a little more homey and cozy and make it more modern and next to it I have this cart right here that I had in my old apartment and when I first moved here I was having a lot of trouble figuring out where I was actually gonna put this but I found out if it's perfectly right in here the top shelf it's just like my astrology spirituality stuff so like my astrology stuff my tarot cards are up here I have my cute little moon statue which is literally my pride and joy I have a bunch of books up there as well that has to deal with all that and I also have my jewelry holder I really didn't have anywhere else to put it that would make sense that's easily accessible so that's why that's up there as well you guys know I do resell my clothes on Depop and Poshmark mainly Depop my links are always down below. I have my Depop packing things right here, so like my packing stuff. Um, I have my label printer right here on my desk, so I can just rip the label and grab whatever packaging I need. Then on the bottom is just kind of cashew stuff. Down here I have like his food, his brush, his pee pads, his stair mover in case he has an accident on the carpet, his little sling that I like to carry him around, and his little wipes that I wipe his body down every time he goes outside because I don't want the outside germs to come inside my room because he does sleep with me often and he does like to get in people's personal space. So that's why I keep him clean every day. If you catch me saying so every Everywhere is like my favorite area. I worked really hard on my room and I'm very happy how it came out and I can't wait to add more. Although it feels complete already, I already want to add more. That's just, that's, that's, that's my Gemini sign and Leo rising jumping out. But let's go ahead and move on to my desk. Hi. Do you mind, do you mind if I sit? Do you mind if I sit? So I can show you my de Do you mind? I don't think you mind, right? I don't think you mind. Okay, so coming to my desk. This is where I get most of my work done for YouTube and soon to be school because I start back in about two weeks. Ah, rip me. This is my general desk area. I definitely love my desk because when I actually moved, I decided to get a few additions that I didn't have at my own apartment. So for example, I got myself a little makeup mirror in case I want to do makeup out here in the natural sunlight instead of my bathroom. It's out here and it lights up, but since it's not plugged in, I'm not going to turn it on because, you know, there's just no point in that. And then I also decided to get a new pencil and pen holder, which I actually hold my high, my high pad my iPad in so when I'm not using it, it's charging and sitting in here. I just keep things such as scissors, my box cutter, a little mini candle, some chapstick and lip gloss right there for easy accessibility. And then actually behind my pencil and pen holder, I actually have this round extension cord that is that everything is plugged in at my desk. So like my computer charger, my iPad charger, spare phone charger, my LED lighting bolt that's up there. I just all keep plugged over there. And also my Himalayan salt lamp from my little lamp over here is plugged in over here as well. And then also a big part of my desk that I recently added uh, was these two black gray when I put these up, I had a little trouble trying to like balance it out and make them even. 
But when I finally got them up, I didn't know what to put exactly on it, but I decided to get these little frames for my Polaroids. I have my most cherished people up here. It's so like my friends, my dog, my best friend, my sister. They're literally all up here. And I can't wait to make more memories and put more up here because I feel like it just adds like personality to this wall. Something else I decided to add was like this vine on top of the grid kind of setup because it was just very plain without it. But I actually have my lightning bolt LED light on top of it just to add some spice. Oh, and then also on top of my desk, I just keep my laptop kind of in place, ready to go with my hard drive. I also decided to bring this little lamp from my last apartment over here, even though I don't plug it in. I really should. I just need to find a light bulb for it. But I have a lamp over here as well, so if I do ever want to work late at night, I can just plug it into my extension cord that's over there in the corner and just use the lamp to see whatever I'm doing, illuminate it up, light it up overnight, you know what I'm saying? Of course, I have my three drawers. My top drawers are stuff that I gravitate to the most, so like tapes, sticky notes, pencils, pens. In the middle of my drawers, I really just have my phone cases and camera accessories, so chargers, spare SD cards, extra camera batteries. Um, And then on the very bottom, I just keep important things such like files. I have my computer box in there in case it ever needs to be fixed and I can't access the serial number from the actual computer and just stuff like that and just spare uh, camera equipment also goes in there as well as in my closet, which once again, I did not show because it's a hot ass mess. So with that being said, let's go ahead and move over to what I like to call Cashew's Corner. Cashew, do you mind if I sit right here? We have now arrived to Cashew's corner of the room. I'm sorry if the lighting is pretty bad. The literally Cashew's corner is right here, but the lighting is this way. And if I put the camera any other way, we'll be able to see what's going on. I know you can barely see, but that's what the cute little B-rolls are for. So we've now arrived to Cashew's corner. Whenever I tell Cashew go to his room, this is literally what I mean. Simply because it has like his bed, his little cute basket of toys. It has his water and food bowl in here. You guys are probably wondering why the hell do you feed your dog in your room? Cashew is still adjusting to the house. He's still kind of exploring, getting comfortable with every part. I think so far he's most or feels most safe in my room so I want him to feel safe wherever he's at. This might create attachment issues later on but I'd rather him feel safe when we deal with attachment issues later than compared to having to have him feel unsafe and just uneasy around me because I'd put him in a place where he didn't feel safe. So that's why those are in here. And then on top of Cash's corner I keep my crystal collection. I have a bunch of fucking crystals. I've been really 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 into crystals. Positive of affirmation and spirituality. This is I, I would say since November of last year. This is just why I keep them in the sunlight so I can get the energy that they need and just flourish and grow as my crystal collection grows with it. Go ahead and scoot us back to my little entertainment center, which you can kind of see <laughs> glowing in the back. But let's go ahead and let's 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 check it out. See what I got going on over there. Now we have arrived to my entertainment corner. Let me scoot you a little closer so we can get a little intimate, okay? Now we have arrived at my entertainment corner and before anybody says anything with the little lights like, you know, going up and down and kind of flashing, you know, a little flash warning, I can't control it. That's what LED lights do on camera. I don't know why they do that little television looking thing, but I know what's happening. I'm sorry I can't help it. Totally. Anyway, so let's talk about my entertainment inter entertainment. Let's talk about my entertainment slash uh comedy. Comedy? Entertainment center corner simply because it's one of my favorites and it was one of the last things I added to my room So in this corner I basically just have anything that is entertainment and things that I needed to find at home cash Can you not lick the condensation off my coffee start off with what's on my right side? Which is this basket of blankets I actually did have the same basket of blankets in my old apartment in Greensboro because I don't know I just feel like it adds a really cute warm feeling and it really just adds a cute little place to add baskets and Add blankets and easily accessible since my bed is right next to this, but you guys will see that in a second. But I keep this here simply because I can just keep the blankets here, and if I need anything for my guests, I can just grab the two things and go since they're in the same area. This is my entertainment center. This is a 37-inch entertainment center, and it literally fits perfectly in this corner. And basically what I have up here is just stuff that is entertainment-wise or things that have to do with what goes on over here. So first thing I have over here is my Nintendo Switch, simply because I love playing Switch with my friends whenever they do come over, slash my siblings. I have all four controllers, which I will get into where I store them in a little bit, but I have my Switch over here. I have a little succulent plant. I haven't named it yet. It's fake. I also have a mahogany teakwood high intensity candle and I also have a incense burner slash waterfall. So on the second row, I have um, a few games and movies. I have my favorite movie set, which is the Hunger Games, Catching Fire, Mocking J Part 1 and Mocking J Part 2. I got it on a deal for $10 at Target. Come through Target. But I also have a game of Uno and Cards Against Humanity in case anybody that comes over to my house wants to play any card games and not the Nintendo Switch. I have those. My hair looks so weird today. Kind of a vibe. Kind of Kind of kind of loving the fluff. Are you loving the fluff? I love in the fluff. Anyway, so moving on to the very bottom row, I have four bins down here. All of them are from Target. In one of my bins, I have my workout gear, so like my resistance bands and strengthening bands. And the one next to that is just simply incense strips. The next one over is more incense, just, you know, just holders. And then these little nubs that came for the top of the incense, you know, flower thingy. And then on the last bin, I have my extra Nintendo Switch controllers. And I also have an extra thing of hand sanitizer in there just in case. And also keep extra candles. Now I'm going to adjust us a little bit over if you don't mind. Like, I hope you don't mind me moving this like this just so I can kind of show like what's on this 
corner over here. So basically, what's over here is um, just my little Roku, although I don't have it plugged in because the cord isn't long enough. But um, I got this Roku 4K thing from my grandparents, and I actually gave away a Roku last month for a giveaway for Aliamis that I never got to finish, but I will be finishing this month. So make sure you stick around for Monday's video because I'm giving away a Polaroid Nintendo Switch very soon. So make sure you keep up with that. But I just have this here because it adds that little hint of black that I try to add out throughout my room. And I have my new plant. Her name is Ellie. It's a trailing elephant bush that I got from Home Depot with one of my best friends, literally my other half ever. We went the other day. Then on top of this, I have like this little three level hanging thing. And basically what it is, and here I keep my remotes and just things that I need. So like in this very bottom one has my remote to my TV. That Then above it, I have my remotes to my LED lights, my fairy lights. And then I also keep some spare outlet like you know plug like the apple ones at the very top just in case there's any guests over and i also keep chargers up there just in case there's any guests over anybody over here that i need to want to use a charger so everybody has a spare charger the white thing on the wall is basically something to conceal the wires i was thinking about painting it the color of the wall in my room but i kind of like the white because it brings it together the entertainment center maybe i'm just being lazy i don't know let me scoot us over you're probably looking for my cute little you know like get up and move transition but no babe it's all in the same corner i don't not really sure to tell you about that one but as we move up up. Can you move up? I'm gonna talk to you guys like this. I hope you don't mind the weird angle. But as we move up, I have these four minimalist kind of doodle drawings. I feel like just adding these right here just added a little something more that I didn't have in my room. While I'm up here, I want to show you guys my actual TV and how it's mounted because I feel like this was one of the best like $60 I've ever spent in my life. It looks like it's catty cornered, but my TV is cool as fuck because it can, you know, come out like a normal TV, but it also tilts well, shit. So if I ever want to watch TV at my desk, I could just turn it and, you know, I could just put it back when I'm in bed. It also tilts up and down. So it rotates and does all that fun stuff. This just fell off. I'm going to put this back. I feel like I could film in this corner by itself because it's just so chill and so laid back. Like I wouldn't mind standing and filming a video in front of there because it just seems fun, you know? So with that being said, that is my entire entertainment corner. That's everything over here. And now we're going to move on to my favorite corner. I, there's literally only like four or five corners in my room. I don't know how often we're my favorite, but I'm moving on to my cozy and happy place which is my bed so let's go ahead and get over there to it welcome to my bed this is literally my cozy place in my room over here i have my queen size bed and mattress which is from helix this is sponsored by helix but they literally gave me the best mattress that i've ever had in my life they gave me the best pillows that i've ever had in my life so make sure you check them out tell them Aliyah sent you even though this is not sponsored on top of the bed instead of getting a headboard like most people do i just got a sun and moon tapestry because i just feel super connected to the sun especially the moon so i have a lot of moon things in my room over here this is the wall that's kind of barren that i don't really know what to do with i think i'm just gonna end up putting up some album covers or stuff like that because I feel like it just needs something although everywhere in my room kind of has bare places I feel like the bear and like the decorated kind of balance each other out but yeah I have these two neon signs that are pink this is the moon and then this is the cloud and then I also have a peace sign from my old apartment that I got from bed bath and beyond I have these vines continuing just to bring out some greenery in the room that I kind of just trout everywhere in my room and then I have some fairy lights on top of this tapestry that I got and I'm gonna move a little bit more over here so I can show you what's on my nightstand and everything okay great never move this much for a video so this is this is interesting so so now we're moving to kind of just to like the regular flat part of my bed. Oh, so you guys just saw my bed. You know, I have my little pillow pet right there that I literally have an emotional attachment to. I've had it for over 10 years and I can't seem to get rid of it. I don't know what to tell you, all right? So over here on my nightstand, um, I just have like cute little knickknacks. All this is definitely from my last apartment. So on my nightstand, I have a clock that I got from Target as an alarm clock because I'm trying to use my phone less at night simply because the blue light isn't good for you and I don't want to depend on my phone for everything, which is why I got an alarm clock for right there. And I also have that little fake plant that I got from Target and also this little oil diffuser, which I use every night because I love the smell of essential oils right before bed. And then under my nightstand, um, I have just like my book collection, baby books and stuff like that and in the drawer i just have like my essential oils just polaroid accessories that i don't want to put anywhere else i want them right near my bed because i'm a weirdo and then right here on the floor i also keep my house slippers because when i get up i just want to put my feet in there i don't sleep with socks on and seeing my raw toes in the morning is not always the best thing for me okay it's just it's just not it's not and then also over here by my nightstand, I don't know how I forgot about this, I literally have a moon dream catcher. Once again, I've been feeling a special attachment to the moon very, very, very recently for like the past few months. For hence the reason I literally have a whole moon tattoo. I've never had a real dream catcher before, so I decided to go ahead and get one and just add some spice and a little bit of calm duality to my sleeping space because I just really love dream catchers, what they stand for and how comfortable they make rooms look. But before we get to the end of this video, I want to let you guys know that there's two doors. 
in my room. This is the door out of my room, which you guys saw me walk in at the beginning of the video. And this is actually the door to my... bathroom tour but I'm just gonna insert some shots about okay you're acting up come here bubby I was gonna do an entire bathroom tour but I feel like my bathroom's just too messy and it's really not complete like I literally have patches of wall that's not painted yet so you guys will just see what it looks like in future videos um it's really not organized and there's a lot that I still have to do in there I'm gonna sand down my cabinets and paint them black it's me and my sister's idea so I'm just gonna go ahead and do that and since it's not done yet I feel like you guys don't need to see an unfinished product like you guys will see the portions that I talked about but you guys will see the finished product one day okay and yeah we have reached the end of this video Video. So guys, that is it for today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please give this video a huge thumbs up down below. I try to switch it up with the editing style of filming and everything. So if you guys did enjoy it, make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe down below if you haven't already. I definitely feel like this room fits me more than my other one. If you haven't seen my other room transformation slash room tour, I'll link it down below so you can see like comparison between the two. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you guys follow my socials so you keep both me. If you want to see me every day, I have Instagram, Twitter, Spotify, Pinterest, Depop, and the many, many more that you could check up down below if you want to see me outside of YouTube because I'm only on here twice a week. I'm on there every day that's if you want to see me of course and if you don't have social media but you want to know when you can find me on youtube i upload every monday and thursday at 4 p.m eastern but if you forget my uploading schedule make sure you hit the bell notification down below so you never miss upload and with all that being said thank you so much again for watching today's video and i can't see you guys on the next one stay cool bye guys